India has developed a squadron of upgraded MiG-29 fighter jets at the Srinagar Air Base to tackle threats from both the Pakistani and Chinese fronts. The Trident Squadron, which is now also known as the Defender of the North, has replaced the MiG-21 Squadron at the Srinagar Air Base, which has traditionally been responsible for taking care of threats from Pakistan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually addressed the G20 anti-corruption ministerial meeting in Kolkata on Saturday, stating that India has a strict policy of zero tolerance against corruption. He underlined that India is leveraging technology and e-governance to create a transparent and accountable ecosystem. He also touched upon the ancient Indian Upanishads that strive for Magridha, which translates to let there be no greed. Two teams of Garur Special Force of the Indian Air Force have been deployed in the Kashmir Valley for counter-terrorism operations along with the specialist operations in the eastern Ladakh sector. The Garur Special Forces are trained for operations in hilly areas and urban terrain. They were initially deployed in the valley in 2007 and 2009 and redeployed in 2017. Shehbaz Sharif and Raja Riaz have chosen Senator Anwar ul Haq Kakar as Pakistan's new interim Prime Minister according to media reports. The decision comes after Shehbaz stated that the constitution allows eight days to appoint a caretaker premier after assembly dissolution. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese confirmed his participation in the upcoming G20 summit which will be held next month in New Delhi. Albanese will be among leaders of G20 nations who are scheduled to attend the G20 summit under India's presidency in New Delhi this September. Notably, the G20 is the world's preeminent forum for global economic cooperation. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lay the foundation stone for Rs 100 crore temple dedicated to social reformer Sant Ravidas in Madhya Pradesh's Sagar district. He will also lay the foundation stone for rail and road sector projects worth over Rs 4,000 crores during his visit. Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan had announced the project in February, which will be built in Nagar style of architecture. Prime Minister Narendra Modi slammed Mamta Banerjee's Trinamool Congress and said that the party played with blood during the Panchayat polls. TMC ne khuni khel khela hai, PM Narendra Modi said in Hindi as he virtually addressed the Kshetriya Panchayati Raj Parishad in West Bengal. He added that the party threatened the voters and made their life hell. A 34-person core probable group was announced by Hockey India for the Senior Women's National Coaching Camp, which will get underway on August 13th at the SAI Centre in Bengaluru. On September 27, the Indian women's hockey team will play Singapore in the opening match of the Hangzhou Asian Games. Avro India Limited, a leading producer of furniture made from plastic moulds, reported a 15% increase in total income in the first quarter of financial year 24. However, profitability was affected by cost pressures. The company anticipates increased demand and cost savings as recycling facilitates expand.